Welcome back to Release the Crafting. Priscilla here with another journal share for you guys today. This one is a music themed junk journal. I'm calling it Melody. Um, I made this for a commission for a woman I work with. Um, she wanted a music themed journal. And so this is what I came up with. For the cover, um, I just used some scrapbook paper I had in my stash. And then um, on the spine, I used some of this paper that has like that velvet flocking or whatever you call it on there. And then I just used some Tim Holtz book corners. Or you know, I don't even think these are Tim Holtz. I think I got them from AliExpress. And um, I added in this paper here in the middle that I cut out and then embossed some music notes on with the stamp that I have. And then uh, using some plain white flowers, I stamped some music notes on those and then inked them up with some black soot distress ink and got these two wood pieces, their wings, from uh, Michaels and I used some Primo Wax in a bunch of different colors to kind of give it like a silvery patina look which was really hard but I'm pretty pretty pleased with the outcome so um, that's what I did for the cover the book in total is uh, 8 and 5 eighths by 6 inches across and the spine is 1 and a half inches I did the hidden hinge or hidden hinge, I'm not making memory albums, guys. The um, hidden spine thing, what I don't know what you call it, where you don't sew through the cover. Hidden spine, yeah, we're gonna call it that. Um, and then for the closure, I just used some coffee dyed uh, seam binding that I got from Prairie Rose Laces. Laces. So I will add that uh, link to her shop down below in the description so you guys can check her shop out. Um, I don't actually have any seam binding, so it was really convenient to find it. I added some uh, paper clip charms to the end, uh, inspired by Dolly. So thank you, Dolly, for that inspiration. And then, as you can see, there's a bunch of music ribbon sticking out here. Um, I didn't get too crazy with this because she's going to use this journal only for writing. So um, I kept it pretty simple and just tried to give her as much writing space as I could. Let's crack it open. So on the inside, I made a pocket with some music note fabric that I got from April after our last swap. So thank you for that, April. I lined it with some uh, some of this netting and some lace and just made a little um, flower out of a punch using some music note paper that uh, April also gave me and I swapped. And then I just have some coffee dyed index cards. You'll see those throughout the book. I used a stamp on them. And then I uh, edged them all in brushed iron uh, Primo Wax to give them kind of a silvery sheen. And then I just used some more paper from my stash. I had some of this music paper. So I punched that and then used that for the spine. Added in some washi tape. And uh, the color she gave me to use for this was just black and white. So I added um, some more neutral colors. And then um, used the black as kind of an accent color throughout the book. I got some stickers on some of the pages, some music note stickers. And then I stamped some pages um, using the same stamp that I used on these note cards. There's some more music note washi that I have. Um, some graph paper from my stash. I made tags. Um, some of them I made out of file folders, like this one. Some I made with some leftover scraps of cardstock and some textured cardstock, but they all kind of look pretty much the same. I decoplaged some music note uh, tissue paper that I had and then went over a stencil with some of that black soot uh, distress oxide and then added little um, music note stamps that I embossed onto some music paper that I got from a download um uh, from Tsunami Rose Designs, so I'll also link her music note paper um, in the description down below so you guys can check that out. It's just a big pack of like vintage looking uh, music paper and it came in really handy. And then on some of the tags I used some of this music ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby. And then like I said I made all these little paper clip charms. Here's a corner flip. I added some scrapbook paper. And like I said, really basic coffee paper, there's some tea dye paper, and some blank white paper, another tag, which I just threw, because, you know, they can also be weapons, and um, just a pocket I made out of some scrapbook paper with a sticker on it. This paper is some really cool um, 
folk song music that April sent me in our last swap because I really don't have any music stuff other than some washi tape in my stash so um, when I talked to her about it she hooked me up with some music paper so thank you April for that and then I just did some stenciling in a bunch of different uh, brown colors of Distress Oxide um, like antique linen and frayed burlap and then um, I used some another charm and uh, added a piece of music vellum here that she could just flip up and write underneath on. Used a doily stamp, and then that paper clip is holding this note card to the page. So I'm just gonna start flipping because it's all pretty much the same. Um, just some washi tape on all the pages. And I made um, some envelopes in the same way that I made the note cards, and then added in a card for her to write on. And I um, embossed the butterflies with some holographic embossing powder from Ranger. The center of the first signature, I used some more of that music paper I got from April and just punched them out, out some scalloped uh, circles. There's some script washing in here. There's another tag. That one I think is a file folder. And some more charms. Some more stickers. And then the second signature. Made a belly band with a coffee dye tag. And I used a lot of different um, metallics, but I tried to keep it pretty neutral. Um, I have this vertigris uh, embossing powder that Shana sent me, so I snuck that in there a little bit um, just to give it some color. Oops. And then here's another flip up, and I just stuck a sticker on there. Um, I really tried to maximize the writing space. So I didn't occupy too many places. I made a pocket here out of some scrapbook paper. And punched out a butterfly and then just embossed the edges. Um, I glimmer misted some of the pages. I don't know if you can see it. This one was just their clear glimmer mist that I got it Tuesday morning. And there's a small tag here. I wouldn't call it a tiny tag, but it's close. Here's a corner flip up that's also a tuck spot. Some more of that really cool vintage music paper. Used a crackle stamp from Blue Fern Studios and added another tag on this one. A little treble clef charm on here. It was really hard to find music charms, which was really strange. Um, I thought that they would have more music notes or stuff for like a set like that, but Hobby Lobby did not have any. And Michael's only had one, so it was just weird. Bigger people like music. They'd have a better selection. But I'm rambling now. Here is another pocket that I apparently stuck this tag into. It's one of those textured cardstock, so it's got like a honeycomb pattern on it. Hopefully. center of the second signature, another flip up, and then the second envelope I made, same thing here, a little holographic butterfly on it, another one of those vellum sheets that flips up. This stamp, this stencil, if you guys are interested, is um, a Renaissance script stencil that I have right here. And of course, I did not say what it was from Deco Art. Deco Art stencil, and I really like it. And some shiny, shiny charms on this. Just kind of liven it up. Some more vintage music paper, and then the back. Page. It has another pocket with some of this music note lace that I got 
also from Prairie Rose Laces, and then just some more of the leftover cards I had. And uh, that's pretty much it, you guys. That's the end. Thank you so much for watching. This book will be on its way to its new home pretty soon. Um, if you guys would like, you could follow me on Instagram. I'll link that down below. You can catch all my progress pics and videos and uh, notifications for when I post new videos on there. And um, give me an idea of what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. I'm looking for some tutorial ideas. Um, I really don't have any ideas for that. And I'd like to make some more tutorials for you guys. So let me know what you want to see. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Have a great one.